Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. May the Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, help me to like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone is feeling so sick because of you. Someone feels so sick because of you. <laughs> you yourself, you have no idea how you are driving a lot of people crazy. Like your existence makes somebody sick. Why? How dare you exist? How dare you push? How dare you succeed? How dare you wish to be better? How dare you be a better person after everything? <clears throat> Because you were so, you were not supposed to exist to them. Because you were not supposed to come out of that affliction at all. You were not supposed to still be standing and be striving, even when it is hard, even if it's not hard. You are just in there, and this is making them feel so sick. I will advise you, child of God, keep drawing your strength from the word of life. To keep drawing your strength from the Lord. Keep drawing your strength from God. They, they want you to lose strength. They want you to faint. They want you to give up. That is the plans of the wicked. How will you keep, how should you keep existing? After all the throne, after all the stones that were thrown, you yourself, you have no idea. There are people who hate to see you exist for no reason. Why should you exist? Why should you stand firm? Why should you strive for the best? Why should you sing a new song? Why will you not remain in the riverside of Babylon being a captive? Why should you sing a new song? We will not sing the lost song in captivity. The Lord will bring us out of that captivity. Hallelujah. The Bible said that when they were at the riverside of Babylon, said, Dear those that hold them captive, demand them a song. Sing the love song for us. And one says, How can we sing the love song in a strange land by the riverside of Babylon? How can we sing the love song in captivity? The fact that they were even in captivity, those that held them captive still demand a song for them from them. They still hate that they were still alive. Let's see if they can still have the strength to sing to their God. But the God that delivered from captivity delivered his own. So that they will be able to sing praises unto him. Hallelujah. Just as he sent Moses. Just as he sent Moses to Pharaoh. Let my people go so that they will be able to offer praises. So that they will be able to offer sacrifice. That was a bondage. Hallelujah. Not being able to serve God. Not being able to praise God. They have done everything. But the fact that you are still praising your God. They became so sick and crazy. Asking why should we let you praise your God? Why should you live your life? Child of God, why should you not live your life? The wickedness of men. To put you down. It will not stand. The wickedness of men. I said you will not sing the love song in captivity. The Lord is bringing us out of that captivity. Let them do all they can. Let them keep pursuing. Pharaoh pursue and pursue and pursue until he met with his death. Until he met with destruction. If they refuse to let you go, let them keep pursuing. They will meet with their destruction. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelisera. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.